Hey everyone, welcome back to Cam Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this light reveal effect. So I've got this uh, scene here, and you can see that this light reveals the the scene that is gonna, it's giving off light. It's bright. And if I uh, get to this wire here, and if I rotate it, you can see that everything actually moves along with it, and you can only see the scene lit up in the place where the lamp is shining. So I'm going to, and here of course you can also do something else like make it a different color where the light is shining. So here is my clean scene. We have the background, the floor, window, all of this stuff in here and I have the light. And the light is turned off, turn it on. It's just this shape. And uh, if I, let's just unparent everything so you can see what I did here. I have this light here. We have the light, like the light shade, the, the thing and we have the wire and we have the light bulb itself right there and we have the light shining. So I'm going to uh, parent the light bulb to the lamp itself, the light to the lamp as well and the lamp to the wire. So now the wire here and the uh, on the top here is the anchor point. So now this one controls everything. So I can rotate this lamp like it's kind of dangling or something. So um, what I want to do here is only have the scene be lit up or changed or whatever where, where this light is showing. So I'm going to turn this on off right now. I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. So go to layer, new adjustment layer. And we're going to type in with the help, let's call this black and white, color correction, black and white. Boom. So this is just, and uh, let's call this effect. So now this uh, layer turns everything black and white. And then uh, I want this light to um, kind of punch out this black and white effect. So if I put the uh, effect below the light here, and then I'm going to go to my track mat and go to alpha inverted mat. So that means that this, um, this adjustment layer is only visible outside of the shape of this light, outside of this light, light shape. So now if I go to my wire here, uh, w for the rotation tool and if I rotate it you can see that it's only visible uh, where that light is not showing so the black and white part and uh, what I want to do is I want to have this floor as you can see in this one the floor should not be affected by this you can add another effect here so I'm going to uh, kind of draw a little shape here so go to more uh, rectangle tool and click and drag and draw over this zoom in so it, it just touches the floor right there like that and then let's just put this at the bottom here of the stack and let's call this um, matte fine we don't need that and then for light here for the light layer I'm going to add a set matte effect to so go to help and set matte and what this does you can here you and a set matte effect you can basically uh, select a layer so in this case uh, matte and that then that means that this layer will only uh, be visible within that layer. The same as masking, but just with an effect here. So now this light layer is only visible within this matte shape. So if I move this around, you can see that it's only visible where that shape uh, ends. And then the effect is then then only visible in this light shape. So then we get this kind of this double mask. So now I have this um, light only visible here on the on, on top of the floor in the scene. So everything is lit up. Uh, like that and if you want to get, get, create a nice effect to have it kind of turn on you can go to the light here go to the opacity t on the keyboard and then oh i already have it uh, created again um hit stopwatch before 100 and just make it zero so it's, it's off at first then two or one keyframe make it 100 one keyframe again zero and one keyframe again 100 maybe a little bit like two keyframes in between. So it's kind of kind of turning on as a light light flicker effect. And you can also uh, do some more because you, I can change this effect layer here. I can do everything to make and I can give this a tint. So if I go to tint color and go to blue, you can do it like that and then click on tint. So now the whole scene is blue and only the part uh, within the light is the original color, the yellow color. Uh, you can do that or if you want to do it differently like in this case i want to do it um, the other way around i actually what i did here i'm going to show you we have the room and the room number two so i duplicated the composition in here so i have a uh, the, my normal room and my normal and my room number two with that effect in that composition with the blue tint and then uh, i have them both on top of each other and then i've copied the light and the wire and hold the whole lamp 
out of this comp and on top of these two and then have the the blue room like this one is the blue version only visible within that light instead of the effect that we did here we had the or here we had the effect layer which was um black and white and so that was only visible within this light shape but in this case uh, here we only have the whole composition of the room visible in that light so if i maybe in my room number two i have some different um uh, shapes of editor so it's uh, you can see this shape really quickly and uh, ugly for now here but if i go in here then only that shape will only be visible in the light so if i turn this on you can see that that shape also disappears so maybe you can animate something like this when uh, a light is turned on and then you see some stuff animating because it's only visible within that light or something you can do some cool, some cool uh, stuff with it so that's it a very quick easy basic one thanks for watching i hope to see you on the next one if you want to support me and download these project files you can do that on patreon see you there thanks for watching see you next time bye bye